since you have been part of the state government for mm -hmm. decades and mm -hmm. you were also part of the government when the Forest Conservation Act was passed in 1980. Mm -hmm. But now that act has been amended. Now with the amendment, with the amendment of the act, Forest Conservation Act, it gives the central government the final say in matters of forest, which clashes with the provisions of Article 371A in relation to community ownership of forests. Now, what according to you should be the step of the state government to protect the state against this, the new legislation, the new amendment? I'm away from active politics for more than 10 years now, but I am a little bit aware of this Forest Act. In Nagaland, the ownership of land is peculiar, we all know. And therefore, this Forest Act uh, is very... We, we, that is something which we cannot accept. Even if it is imposed, it will create a big problem in Nagaland. And so, without going into particulars, it is better for the Naga people to say no to it straight away without going into the merit and the merit of the case. We have to say no, because it is not in our life. But isn't it a little too late since it has already become law? It can be, it can be law, but uh, law, even law also cannot be imposed in a matter like this. Your land is your property. You have land, you have nothing. You have, your land is your property, your wealth. If it is, if your right is taken away over it, you cannot remain silent because it is law. So for the Nagas, this is very dangerous, but Nagas will never yield. Even in the long run, Nagas will never yield. That, that much I know. So what are your views on the Uniform Civil God? This is also the same thing. This is also the same thing. But you know, <coughs> Nagaland, we have our political problem. Sometimes we have to think in terms of those uh, uh, going on problems. Huh? We cannot just take things like Forest Act or like Uniform Civil Act as the final. Because time may come when we can change by ourselves all this world. Just one more question, one last question. Uh, let me go back to the older act, the Forest Conservation Act, the Erstwhile Forest Conservation Act. Was it ever effective in Nagaland? No, it, it wasn't. was not. It was not. Because Nagas, we, you all know that um, by nature, Nagas are very independent. And therefore, even the act is there. They go their own way sometimes. So the earlier one is also not effective. But the government is, all, is also helpless. No? <laughs> so, I mean, since uh, what if the state government, I mean, if there's pressure from the people, the public, for the state government to take a step, to take, uh, to take measures, what would be this, uh, the step to be taken, should, that should be taken by the assembly? Assembly, or the assembly should pass resolution rejecting it altogether.